Okay, got my 92 Dodge Dakota here. When I first got this truck, it had a couple codes on it. I made a separate video on how to find codes without a code reader. And uh, one of those codes happened to be a 32. Well, I looked up what that is. A 32 is a uh, an EGR valve solenoid either open or shorted. So I open up my uh, truck and I look down where my EGR valve is, which is, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually right here. Now, the way I found it, I guess the person that had the truck before me kind of jury rigged it because I'm actually missing the solenoid. They just took out the whole solenoid, bypassed it, plugged this vacuum line, and they plugged the other line down here. But notice uh, it's got a little screw in it. That's So the two lines coming off the actual EGR valve is, is, is plugged, and the vacuum line back to the source is plugged. So they just jury-rigged it, which is, uh, which is why I have a code. So I... Uh, I looked up how much a replacement EGR valve was and uh, it comes in an assembly with the valve and the solenoid and it's like $70 and I didn't want to spend $70 so what I did was I went down to the junkyard and I bought this replacement solenoid electric plug goes here and you got vacuum lines this was like four dollars at a junkyard and I bought about a foot long of vacuum hose that I got to replace so I'm gonna try that to make this work I, go, I bought the plug too it was about six inches back I just snipped the plug off and let me show you what I did I, this is the plug I had to replace because this was all missing somebody just it, they cut this off and it was just taped up so I had to replace this so I stripped it back, I soldered these leads together, made a made a plug connection, and if you look up here at the on my truck, this is how it has to run. Here's the uh, vac this is the vacuum drawing. Now let me zoom in on this. This is the I don't know if you can see this. Eh, it's not very good. But basically, that's the solenoid. And that's the EGR valve, and th this is showing the vacuum hoses. All right, this is the vacuum hose going to the valve. Then there's two valves that kind of recirculate. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hook it up just like that when I replace it. I'm gonna plug this in first. Here's the plug. There it goes. Snap the plug in, so it's wired. There's a uh, screws that the person, last person that did, and pull this plug out. Okay, so all right, sorry, hard to do this with one hand. So that, that's how that was. They just had a screw plugged in there, which is not good. And this one down here, this goes to the EGR. It's just a little coupler. I'm just going to replace this. It's just a little, it's kind of loose anyway. So that was just plugged up. That's how they fixed it. They just capped that off, plugged it up. I'm just going to cut off like a little, a little four inch section. down okay looking at the drawing okay. 
looking at the drawing, it's got to sit in there like this. Um, this little short jumper section's got to go on the end here. So this part, the bottom part, has got to go here and on. It goes from the, the bottom of the solenoid to the to the bottom of this little pipe sticking out, just a short piece. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this little four inch. I'm going to connect it here on this uh, sticking out the bottom of the EGR valve. The EGR valve only has two two connections. There's one here and one up top here. So the bottom part, this bottom part has to go, when it's sitting like this, has to go to the bottom part here. So I'm going to connect that real quick. It's real tight. Got the bot piece on here. I'm just going to work this down in here and try to slide it on. That's really tight, so that's good. Okay, that ought to be a good connection. So, this is what I got so far. Got my connected. That goes the. Uh, oh, geez, did I hook it up wrong? Yep, I hooked it up wrong. What a picker head I am. Hold on. Let me show you again. Alright, this is the electrical net connector up top here. Now, the top part here needs to face this way. This comes from the vacuum manifold. This bottom piece here, when it's sitting like this, just like on the diagram, this part comes to manifold vacuum. This part goes to the EGR valve. So I'm going to slide the hose on the bottom part, make sure this electrical connector is facing up top like this. Here's the connector. So it's just like it's just it's laid out just like on the drawing. So this goes to the the vacuum manifold. And this goes to the EGR. So I'm gonna and then this part goes to the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shove a hose on the bottom part real quick. I've uh, got the connector connected electrical. I got this bottom bottom hose connection goes to the bottom of the EGR valve which is what I'm going to do next. This should go, I don't know if you can see this or not, some hose cables in the way. It goes right here. So I'm going to shove that on, make it nice and tight. Okay, and that's on. Okay, now, now here's the manifold line, I think. That was a uh, plugged off with a screw, I'm going to connect this to the to the top part here. So let me push this on. Okay, so basically uh, the only two connections I have left now are this connection and the top part connection on the top of the EGR to the solenoid. Uh, I just got to run like a jumper hose from here to here, which is what I got right here. Just going to cut that, get myself full about. Hell, you know, I just used the whole thing. I got my hose here. I'm going to stick my hose on the top of the EGR valve. See this little. room in here. Got that pushed on all the way. Okay. Got that pushed on. Now I'm just going to run this around. Plug it into the solenoid. Well, it's all hooked back in like it should be. I'm going to I'm going to test it out, see if it, the code clears. 